God can wash away my sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. One can make me whole again. Nothing but the blood of Yesterday I was just sleeping all day and yeah, just literally sleeping all day. So I think we as again feel a bit stretch, stretch, um, rested. So right now I'm just gonna go to morning devotion. I think I'm okay. Hello? Yeah? Hmm? I'm gonna get dressed. And I, I thought I was gonna say I was gonna walk by myself, but my friend Selena's here, so I just gotta quickly put my shoes on and turn my hair back, and yeah. Morning guys, morning. We're back again, day three of the National Youth Congress. Yay! So we are going to our morning devotion right now and then um, after that we're just going to go for our stuff. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm not even that tired. I just say that because it's easier I think to say. We needed just fresh air. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me, I even have extra sleep. Me too. Me too. Me too. I know that God has a plan for you. Amen. So we're all here at BO19. Everybody has a reason or something on their heart, something that, you know, they're expecting God to do. Nobody's here by accident. But I want us to think beyond this week. So beyond the four walls of this building, outside of this campus. Maybe fast forward to next week, Monday, when everybody is back at home and the reality of life starts again. And the truth is, some of our realities are not good at all. It was amazing during the worship, that some of the things that were coming out about God who, who keeps us, even in our state of anxiety, even in our state of depression. And so many of us are struggling, that's our reality. We've come here and as we're in this place, everything is masked, you've sort of forgotten about it. But the truth is, come next week, you're back to your reality. And some of our realities aren't good. So the background for the scripture that we read, Jeremiah. Jeremiah is speaking to God's people who are in exile. Because of their own sin and their own disobedience, these guys have found themselves in a vulnerable position, a vulnerable situation. Sometimes because of our sin, because of our disobedience, because of us moving away from God's plans for our lives, we find ourselves in a vulnerable situation. And that's the situation that these people found themselves in. And I just want to set some kind of context, some kind of background. You're in a land where you have everything that you need. Every resource that you require, you have available to you. Your dreams, your aspirations, everything is built 
We don't, we don't allow ourselves to push through the situation. We don't deny that we can get depressed. It's very, very real and it happens. But what I'm saying is, allow the plan that God has for your life to be top priority. Let you, make sure you see that first before you see any depression. Make sure you tell yourself about God's plan for your life. Remind yourself, yes, I'm going through these hard times. Yes, I can't see the end. But God has a plan for me. I am says, I know the plans I have for you. He knows the plans he has for me. So even though it's hard, even though we're struggling, we push through. We push through in order to get to our successful end. That, that, that is my heart's cry for us. We can't deny it. Like I said, on Monday, our reality starts, even Sunday. And that's when you go back home and you lock yourself in your room and you're crying and you're crying. And you completely forget about this God that you've come to encounter, this God that you've experienced. But God is... So, 
Okay. The very first row. The very the very. Uh -huh. First and second. That's it. We just want all the contestants. Okay. Who don't know what the is. Don't go beyond. I thought we were late. Second row. But sit, make sure you are sitting by this rate or by any rate. But the mic is not working. Oh. Do you want to keep saying anything? Yeah. It's hard, you know. Is it? Is it not? Ask me if you see if I not gonna go be able to. So 119 versus 100. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Psalm 56 verse 3. Psalm, Psalms 56 verse 3. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalms 190 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet. I light my path. Psalm 100. Psalms 149 verse 3. The Lord has... They need more microphones. There's a sign of microphones at the way. That's the same way when a person opening the bridge with the microphone. So nobody should have a microphone. If you open it, you'll give it to me. Okay. So, we officially begin. I feel like I'm actually recording. Yeah, the first thing is now. Yes, you see that red face? Oh! Okay. I'm going to say light in church. I'm sorry. Question one. It's okay. Good question. Amen. Opie! Oh. Yeah. 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 What's facing gonna do, man? No offense. Uh. Can you let MK move in? Yeah. Uh, yes. That's fine. Come on, MK. Alright, so this is dinner. So, yeah. Jesus, raise me, then raise me. I need you. 